classic salmon fly, never had the modern eye. Basically what I had was a gut eye. To work. And this is just cheap nylon I bought from the local tackle shop. Uh, it's like a thousand metres or eleven 1, hundred metres there for about seven pounds or so. So you get plenty of gut. The only problem is it's a bit shiny. Now, what you're basically going to do is to get this. You've got to use uh, a string or a, a twister, this thing here. Now, I basically bought this from uh, Amazon. It's called the Stringer or the String 2. came from Japan. Uh, you basically can work it out. There's obviously you can't read Japanese. But you, as you can see in there, you can actually work out how to, how to make it. Now it costs around about thirty pounds, thirty forty pounds, but it's worth it because if you're going to tie a lot of classic type salmon, salmon flies, and you're looking for an endless supply of a reasonable substitute for the gut, then this is one. This is what I would do. Now, to to basically make it, it's reasonably simple. Now I've got lengths of the twenty pound nylon, which is zero point four zero millimeters. Now, obviously, this is for us a larger size fly, the 6 o's above. If you want to go smaller, then around about £12, I'll take you down to the sort of lower sizes, uh, the kind of average size, maybe 2 o's to 4 o's. Now, you need three lengths. Now, these, so you can see, they're about maybe 12 inches long. And all I do is quite simple. Hopefully, you can see that. Is to make a loop so you can hook it onto the actual stringer just make a loop on iron and just tie a knot and then you can tighten it up I put the three into the actual this is just a crochet needle or a crochet hook that I've got I'm just using it to hold the, the, the nylon now to basically get the colour if you're going to either stain it or dye it you've got to use this, it's just a a fine sandpaper. I just rub it through three or four times. Just rub your fingers through it. And then I'm using a cobbler's wax. The cobbler wax here. This gives it a bit of colour. Just run it through two or three times, and you can see it helps just to give it a bit of stick as well. You can, there you are. So that's it basically ready. Now before I go any further, I tie a knot in the ends just to hold it. So I bring a knot round, three ends together, bring it in. I'm just going to line these up. Now I've got a small vise here just to, to hold just into the vise. Now I've set this up hopefully that you can make it out. It's quite hard to actually film this. But hopefully this should work out okay. So I'm going to take away my crochet needle and then I'm going to separate the nylon making sure there's no twists in it at this point. So I'm going to set it onto the, the card. It's just black card I've got here. Now there's the actual eyes onto the, the hook as you can see. Uh, basically tied underneath depending on the style of fly you're tying. It's best to the full practically the full length of the shank, tape on towards the back. Helps you to form the body as well. So then what we do is put them onto the hook. Now there's two settings on the string machine. There, this, this here adjusts it. This, if it's down and in line with the arrow on the handle, and you turn the handle, it adjusts the hooks rotate. If you push it straight up, the whole thing rotates. You have to use both. So basically what we do is have it locked down onto the, so the, the hooks re just rotate and then you're on your nylon we hook these up so one oops one two and the third one three now we've got to actually the reason these hooks move You've got to basically rotate or put a twist into the single strands. Now to keep them apart, I'm just using, this is just a dog comb, halfway down, I just take that right up to the vise. That keeps them 
separate it and then you put the twist into the single strands always winding away from yourself in this case nice and tight when you're happy with the twist in it remove the comb and then the, the switch you push right up and then you twist so simple let's check this go off winding up nice and tight and that's the twist that's your your rope like effect that you get for your twist I've obviously got a wee bit of this here now I've not done that before now I'm going to go back because I'd rather take that out so maybe trim them it's easy just to go back draw them back or what I should have done was trim them away anyway tighten it back up really easy now what I do, you need to heat the, heat the nylon up so it sticks if you don't do that, it will slightly it'll unravel so I've got the hair dryer so basically what I'm going to do is then heat it, you'll see it doesn't take long all the way up basically it binds in the, the wax as well uh, all the way down just give it a second to cool now what I normally do then, then is hold the, these ends and loosen the vise and then you'll see that's the gut formed now just to show you what it's like it doesn't unravel I'll not unravel unless you've got to heat it that sets the nylon. I'll just trim this and you'll see. That's the notch, don't need that. It stayed together. That gives you time then to tie that on the underside of the hook for your gut eye. And you can see this it holds really well. But you need you need the heat. If you don't do that, it will slowly unravel. But then as long as you tie it in quick enough it's fine, because when you tie these in, you want to fray the end so it tapers into the actual dressing. So that's how I form the gut and make the gut for the the classic salmon hook for the eye. So I hope you enjoyed that and it helps you out. Mm -hmm.